This year has been unprecedented. We have been kept from our friends, our loved ones. We are surrounded by the fear of an invisible enemy, an enemy which has caused so much pain and devastation. This has caused many people to question the state of our future. The state of the economy is precarious. No one truly knows how society will be affected in the long term. This world of men, the society we live in, is currently full of uncertainty. It seems there is no way to tell what our future holds. However, there is a hope in these dark times. The Lord Jesus speaks about a time where, upon the earth, there will be distress of nations. A time when men's hearts are failing them for fear. He then promises that they shall see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. At the end of this period of uncertainty and fear, there is salvation. We live in a time where wars, natural disasters, economic crises, and illnesses are rampant. For the present, people's hearts are failing them for fear. The failing state of our world will be overtaken by something wonderful. True, the world has always struggled with crises and unrest. But in the past century, this has climaxed. Whatever we endure now, whatever difficulties we might face, there is ultimately hope. A hope of salvation, the hope of redemption. Paul, a faithful follower of Christ, spoke of the difficulties that he and other followers faced during his time. Yet he looked beyond this to the future. I am filled with comfort. I am exceeding joyful in all. Our tribulation. We can rejoice throughout our troubles. We can rejoice in the hope that is constantly promised throughout the Bible. The Lord Jesus endured because of the joy set before him. Our future is sure. It is certain. Even so, come, Lord Jesus.